What's up, folks? What's up, folks? BG Alawish is here. BG in the Philippines. And this is going to be for Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. But anyway, Facebook said I need to make a reel or a video telling who I am. For those who really know me, y'all know who I am. I'm Brian Greenland. I'm BG. I'm, I'm, I'm who I am. It's no explaining who I am because I am who I am, not be who I be. I pride myself in being different. You know, um, you can't compare me to nobody. I'm an individual. I march my own beat. I do what I want to do and I do what I do. But, Cheers, y'all. I'm here in the Philippines chilling, man. I am finally in my permanent residence that I'm gonna be here, so I'm gonna be here. I need a break, man. I need to step outside of America and uh, experience some different life, man. You know, um, I've been having an eye-opening experience, man. I'm not going to say everything I went through right now. That's for later videos. Because, you know, a lot of people get on here and do videos and stuff about, you know, places they've been to that outside America or outside whatever country they're from. And they only been there for a couple of days or a couple of weeks and stuff. So I've been here over two months now. And uh, I feel like I can really start talking about, you know, what I like down here and what I don't like, you know? Um, the experiences, the eye opening things I've been seeing down here and all that, man. I'm here. <laughs> Look, I'm here. No lie in me. I'm here. I'm here. In the Philippines. <clears throat> what of earthquakes and typhoons and uh, monsoons and all that shit, man? But I'm here. I'm trying to live my life to the fullest, man. 45 years old, 15 years, I'll be 60. I turned 46 this year, and uh, you know I don't want to be on my deathbed when I'm old and say what if or I should have done this or done that. Uh, <laughs> you can't live life scared. As I see this airplane flying in the air right now, you you can't be scared, man. For real, me. Before I came here, it, 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 I was going through struggles. I was scared. I was under, I, I didn't know what was going to happen, you know. I was scared to leave my comfort zone and the comforts that come with America and, and the first world countries and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I'm here now. Have I lost some luxuries that I had in America? Oh, yeah, most definitely. But I'm still breathing, I'm still alive. You know, I'm following you away from the main city so it's not so polluted. I can breathe better, you know. Um, but never ever be scared, man. Never be scared, man. Live your life to the fullest, man. To the, to the fullest, you know. I don't travel all across America, man. I done been in Nicaragua when I was in the army and everything. But this right here was something that I did by myself. I went on the plane with nobody. I was absolutely by myself. By myself. Never travel internationally outside the army by myself. You know what I'm saying? I always had people with me. When I traveled across the, you know, cause I used to be married. So a lot of times when I travel, I was with my ex and everything. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And when I was in the army, when I was in Nicaragua, I traveled with 
my homies, my, the people I was in the army with. Shout out to all my uh, people that was in 546 Transportation Company, 8th Thord, 659, and all that that went down Nicaragua with the Marines, and everybody went, was down there with us. We know what it was. And I had an eye open experiences down there in Nicaragua, but here, me actually living life, uh, taking on the culture. <laughs> they love playing music here. Um, <laughs> you know, going to their grocery stores, their wet markets, their markets, you know what I'm saying? Have to look out for pickpockets and snatchers and all that, man. And um, it's an experience, you know what I'm saying? And they do have American amenities down here. I, not amenities, but uh, fast food restaurants and restaurants. McDonald's, Burger King, <laughs> KFC, Pizza Hut, uh, TGI Fridays, um, Texas Outback, and other stuff too, man. But besides the point, man, um, I've been enjoying myself. And I don't regret this decision I made to leave my home country. Not saying I'm never going to come back because I plan on coming back. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm not I'm not going to regret this. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I'm out here now in my own place here. Nice place. Um, groovy. <laughs> Chilling out with my special lady. And that's another thing. That's She is very special. She's very special, man. You know, first time I really dated outside my race. But she's special. She's a good woman, man. She's a very good woman. So, and her family cool. Her brother's cool. Shout out to Sun Rap. <laughs> but, uh... I like adventure, you know, and I'm on my adventure. <clears throat> and even though I have me a lady here, I, I, I feel like it's my solo adventure. I uh, have a spiritual awakening, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is an awakening period, man. I'm just looking out here. I haven't been, I haven't lived here that long where I'm at now, so I'm just taking in the scenery and all that. And, uh, and later on, I will take y'all up to the top floor, man, uh, and show y'all what I see once everything's clear, man. It's kind of like Las Vegas where you can see mountains all around. We sound around, but it's kind of cloudy, so you don't really see it all right now. I can see the 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 main city in Manila over there in Makati and all that stuff and hey man I'm having a blast man you know having a blast <clears throat> excuse me but never be afraid man never be afraid to do what you want to do in your life man life is short you never know when it's time for you to go, man. And you just need to live your life. Make your money, live your life. Do what you gotta do to make the money you need to make, whatever you gotta do to make it. That's legal, legally. And uh, go for what you know, man. I'm here. Every time I, I'm here, I'm still not used to being here. I'm on the other side of the planet, man in the Southern Hemisphere, you know? And I, I, I never thought any time in my life, in my wildest dreams, that I would be here in the Philippines or anywhere on this side, Japan, none of that, uh, Malaysia, Thailand, I never thought, but I'm here. And I'm glad I made that trip, the 26 hour trip. I'm so glad I made it, you know? I'm becoming a better person. I'm, a, I'm becoming more learned. Um,
Enjoy your life. Enjoy your children. Enjoy your family. But also create adventures and experience experiences so you won't regret it when it's time for you to go I can hear roosters <laughs> I can hear roosters man It's a wonderful thing, man, to do do the things you can do. I never thought I never thought that I would be able to do this. I never. And everything just fell in place. I didn't even think I could get my passport, man. Everything fell in place, man. Everything fell in place, bop, 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 like that, man. And you know, me and my life, shit didn't ever go like that. Shit would go on place, then they would crumble. But this right here, while I'm here, it went. I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to be with this special lady. I'm supposed to experience this. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to, this is what it is. No regrets. No regrets. You know? No lie, y'all look at me, oh, you ain't block. But hey, man, that's the experience, man. You know, I'm, I'm still getting used to eating the whole fish with the eyes looking at you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's what it is, man. I go, go, I'm seeing the whole pig leg. I don't even eat pork, but I'm just, I see the whole pig leg and all that man is crazy. No, it's no turkey here. Either. No turkey, no ground turkey, no turkey leg. I miss turkey. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's none of that here. It's not here. So, but hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So, I'm able to stay in a beautiful place, a nice place, man, and it don't cost as much. Um, I'm not only here to tell you how much you need to, how much it costs to live down here. I'm not on here to talk about uh, the dating scene or none of that shit like that, like everybody else want to do, man. I'm not here to be trying to show you the women down here. I got a woman, there's no need for me to be doing that. But I'm here to tell you my experiences and show you what I'm doing, man. I don't give a care about all that. And another thing, and my passport, bro. I'm a man with a passport. I don't consider myself a passport, bro. Um, personally, I never had a problem getting a woman in the States. Never had a problem, really, you know. Um, you know, my reasoning of coming outside of America is for my own, because I want the experience going outside of my country by myself, you know. And I was recently divorced and all that stuff, and I'm just, I just want to live my life. My aunt, my Filipina aunt, which my uncle is married to, introduced me, so there was no online, nothing and none of that, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm not here for that. I'm not here to try to show off. I'm not here to bash America. I'm not here to bash my own black women. I'm not here to do that, you know what I'm saying? Even though my woman is not black, but she for me. So that's what I care about. Um, I, that's not why I'm here. So I'm not, I don't lay myself with passport bros. Um, I'm a man with a passport. I'm a man that seeks out adventure and different experiences in life. And that's what I am. And that's what I want to do. So I don't got nothing bad to say about American women, no matter what race they are. I don't, it is what it is, man. From what I've been seeing, especially being here, women are women. Women are women. 
So you got modern women that think a certain way. You got women that think old school way. It's just what it is. It's what it is, man. So whether I was with my lady or not, I still was going to travel. I was planning, you know what I'm saying? I was still going to travel. So this is something I need to do for myself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad. You know, I don't care if you just traveling across the United States. Do do your thing, man. Like, travel, see new things. I love America. America got America is a diverse country. I've been from the East Coast always to the West Coast. I've seen damn near the whole country, man. And it changes as you go to different state to state, as you go from East Coast to West Coast, as you go from North to South. You know what I'm saying? So. And I still have more places that I do want to go in America that I've never been to. So when I come back, I plan on doing that. I, I did some bars. <laughs> but I plan on doing that. I really do. <sighs> I love the breeze. It's breezy. Breezy up here. Breezy up here. I swear, towards the city, boy, you can see all that smog, man. The air quality over that way. Let me see if I can. The air quality over this way. Let me try to go in. That's the main city right there. I'm away from that right now. See that airplane? The airport is right over there. It's landing. And it looked like it's close. I think that might be, I don't know if that's Nia, Nia or, or Cebu. But yeah. I'm here. Jolly B. I'm here. Y'all saw that McDonald's? But when they clear up, you, you can't really see. I think Manila Bay is right over there, though. But, yeah. I'm here. Living life, enjoying myself, trying to share my experiences. So now that I'm in my permanent residence, I can tell you everything. Go up, up top, try to view and speak to y'all. Speak to y'all in my crib. You no, know, tell you about renewing your visa. I renewed my visa twice, once for a month, then the, then the next time I renewed it for six months. So I'm here. This is where I live. And this is where I'm gonna be. You know? I'm enjoying the different foods, the different flavors and stuff. I don't like everything, but I'm enjoying. It's different. It's different. But different is good, I'm different. You know? Spectacular. Excuse me. It's amazing. And that's about it. I'm going to break this down for Facebook, for Reels. I'm going to put it uh, on Instagram, YouTube, but I'm going to break it to Reels and say, so y'all y'all, can, y'all can feel me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm motherfucking Brian Green, excuse my French. I'm BG, Aloysius. I'm about to venture. 
I'm about life. I'm about being low key. I'm just doing my damn thing, man. Just doing the damn thing. I have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. But time. That's why we all should use our time well actually. Flies. But y'all take it easy, man. I'm about to get up off here. I need to go to sleep anyway, man. I've been up probably since four o'clock, man. I woke up drinking with with my latest brother. <laughs> you know, he he twenty eight, he young man, so you know, uh, you know me. I'm for I, I had to take it in the bed, man. I, you know, I ain't I can't do like that like I used to back in the day. But anyway, man, props to him, man. He be making the time easier. He's one of the reasons why I found we found this place. You know, he's been uh, quintessential here. So, yeah. Live y'all life. Do the things that you want to do that's legal and not hurting anybody. Get your experiences, because experiences are important. And uh, do the damn thing. And y'all do one thing for me. Please. Please. Keep banging. Peace. Until next time, man. BJ wishes. Love y'all all. My army homies, everybody in Winston-Salem, my homies. I love y'all all, man. I did what I had to do for me. <laughs>